How you doing? Thanks for watching. This is George at Wicked Warnings here with a real nice F450 Super Duty. This is the big boy, the wide hips, the large front end, all the upgrades that the 350 wishes had, the larger frame. Well, we got some lighting going on here. Thanks for tuning in to Wicked Warnings. We're your number one source for construction and emergency safety and strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, trucks, buses, bicycles, tricycles, and extra large trucks like this one. What we're running, what you're looking at right now is a combination of the amber and the white together. I'm going to go ahead and kill the white for now just so I can give you a better description. So this is a dual switched unit. This truck does some heavy hauling for some extra large boats and oversized loads, etc., etc. And it needs an amber warning system, only amber. Specifically also that does not affect any DOT lighting like the roof or the turn signals or any of the other DOT lights that he does not want to have flashing when he's hauling a wide load. See, you want to be very specific when you're hauling wide loads and you're doing extra hauling for commercial purposes, especially in relation to your DOT lights. So what we have is our TIR3 in amber down in the fog bezel facing primarily sideways. You can also see the same light TIR3 in amber right in the tow hook bolt cover. Now, if your truck does not have the plastic cover over the bolts on the tow hook because it's a lower trim line, this happens to be a Platinum 450, by the way. So if your truck is an XL, you can order those bolt covers right from Ford. So we switched independently both the Amber system. Now you can see a little bit of the badges there. We've got our thin XLIN series which allows you to switch both colors in the badges. And out back, we're running our thin our TIR3 next to the rear license plate and our Thin-X TIR under the, under the gate. But we've switched them both independent, amber and white. So the customer can run one or the other, or both, as you saw in the beginning. Now on the white side of things, we're running our auto flasher module on the DRL in the front headlights there, synchronized with another auto flasher module in the white mirror spotlights. We've got it lined up in an X pattern there. When I did this particular install, we mounted the auto flasher for the headlights right there on the fender, and we mounted the mirror right underneath the steering wheel. Around the back, our auto flasher is also being used on the cargo third brake light, as well as the reverse lights. So he has a 360 white package, as well as amber. And if he wants to really party down, he could put both switches on and have all the amber and white going at the same time. All right, so here with a fisheye lens on the side shot, I'm just trying to show you a little bit of the profile. The shop's not big enough yet to, to pan out and show you everything, but you could catch that front fog light if I was back far enough out. You can see we've got a two-color display on that thin X in the badge. But as we switch back to amber, not only do we get a new pattern, a little bit slower, but a solid amber color. The Thin XLIN series is a real nice light because you can switch amber and have a pattern for amber, white, and have a pattern for white, which we chose a more aggressive pattern on the white. You can see there in white only mode, it's a much faster, more aggressive pattern. And then when we go to the amber and white, there's even a third option for a pattern if you wanted to go with a, a completely different pattern for the combination color. The pattern I chose for amber and white is a little bit similar to the one I chose for white as well. But uh, the light will remember whatever pattern you set it on. And it also has steady flood white as well. Of course, we integrated our flood feature into this build like we always do. We've got the forward facing white mirrors, the badges on the side. We've got the reverse and the cargo light all set up on a white flood switch with or without warning. You can flood and get that white light. The flashing does not have to be on, but as you see, the flood white will always override any flashing. So if your white flashing is on and you flood white, your white flashing is going to stop. Alrighty, around the back here, you can see our Thin X TIR series really doing their job mounted right underneath the tailgate there on the outer edges. Now, most of the time, there's going to be a big gooseneck hitch with a gigantic boat behind this. So we won't see a whole lot of those in action, more so when the truck is turning around the corner. And on the sides of those, we've got our TIR3s. We're also running in the white switch, our, 
our auto flasher module on the reverse lights and you can see we're running that auto flasher module version for the cargo lights as well now the cargo light auto flasher when you do grab the cargo light wire if you grab it in the new spot that I recommend you can also get the tail light the tailgate keyhole light as you see in the video right here the little white light on the tailgate keyhole but you have to grab the cargo light in a new spot so make sure you know if that's what you're looking for to replicate along the side shot here you can see that amber tir3 okay so that's the much better shot right there now you can kind of see the package you see the badges going the third brake light let me shut the white down show you just the amber so that's just the amber warning got the t3 on the side the thin x tir series underneath the tailgate and a thin x lin series with amber only activated in the badge there and here we are in the white only mode that uh, basically has our auto flasher on the reverse cargo as well as the thin x in the badges all right we hope you enjoyed this build thanks again for watching wicked warnings your number one source for construction and emergency strobe lights and safety equipment and uh, stay tuned for more big trucks like this f450 platinum